All right, welcome to another Spotlight Photographics tutorial video. Today we're talking about the brand new Game Day Banners Volume 4 Metal Edition. This is the brand new collection from Spotlight Photographics, and it's all themed in metal. So it's got that rough, uh, real metal texture to everything in, in this collection. It does come with 10 full layered PSD templates. Everything is in multiple layers so that you can change things up, change the colors, theme them the way you want to theme them, change them, uh, take elements away, add elements, however you want to make these templates your own, uh, you can. Uh, we do uh, say that we need to have at least uh, Photoshop CS5 or above to fully utilize all of the different things in here. If you do not own Photoshop uh, and you only have elements, uh, these are probably not going to work for you because to be able to do all the changing of the colors and a lot of the uh, layer blending modes that are used uh, don't exist in elements. So if you were to open up uh, any of these templates and elements, uh, you wouldn't be able to change any colors. You'd be stuck with uh, what you see in the uh, sample here. So to get started, let's uh, just go down the line and we'll talk about each one of these. Uh, the first thing we're going to open up here is Backsplash. Uh, that is the number one template in the packet. Uh, as you can see, it opens up with a sample player on it. That's going to give you the ability to automatically go ahead and print this as a sample if you didn't already have one uh, and give it uh, to a prospective client or show it off to a league or high school. Uh, so to get started, we'll show you how easy it is to change the colors on this one. And we'll say we're going to change this over to red. So let's get rid of this player image and let's drag in one that we've already had extracted and drop that in there. So let's get this changed over to a different color. Uh, we've got the background texture that has a gradient overlay. We simply double click on gradient overlay, click on our color, click again here, and change that over to red. Just say OK out. And now that's changed the background color. For our name, we'll just go to the name and we can see that the color of the name is blue. So we click on our color there, change that over to red, and we are good there. So we'll go over to our jersey number now, change that over to red, just like we did on the other one. We'll change the blue bars down here, and change those to red as well. All right, so you can see that uh, just like that, we were able to change that over to a red template, and then changing names is as simple as just highlighting over the text and changing it by typing. So we would just rinse and repeat that all the way down to the other fields, and you are done with Backsplash. So let's go ahead and close that one out, and let's bring in the next one. The next one in our series is called Bracket. Bracket is this one. It's got the fire in it. It's got a lot of the steel look. Uh, again, this one has all of the different features that all the other templates have in the meaning that you could turn off the fire if you wanted to turn off the fire just by simply turning that off. Uh, you can bring that back. You can turn off everything, even the screws. If you wanted no screws on there, you can turn the screws off. So a lot of different things you can change on here. Simply changing colors is a lot easier even than the first template we showed you because uh, there's not that many in this one. Uh, so we have a color overlay on the right color bar by double clicking on color overlay, clicking on the color. We can change that over. Let's do this one to blue. So we can change that to blue. Change the left color bar over to that same blue. And we can change the name again over to blue. And how about we change that first name over to white. Again, changing type on this one is just like changing it on the other template. All of the typefaces, when you select them, will actually keep their texture overlay that's on them. Uh, for example, this last name here that's all beveled. If we change that one to Jones, you can see that that changes that as well. And even if you transform the name by shrinking it, it still keeps it. So just like that, we're able to change that one over to another color. Uh, you can see you have a lot of different things you can turn on or off. If you wanted to take this right bracket and turn off the bracket as a whole, you can just eliminate it. Uh, if you wanted to, you can eliminate both. 
do whatever you want to do with that template it's uh, again fully customizable so let's go on to another one let's open up grill grill is the third template in the series let's go ahead and get rid of that one third template in the series again everything in this one is color changeable uh, show you how to color change grill we have a hue and saturation down at the bottom to change hue and saturation we double click on the icon and then you can switch this by just dragging it so we can say we want to do this one orange Let's higher that there and then change the blue bar on the team name by doing a color overlay again we double click on color overlay click on the color change that to that orange color that we want we can change the bars down here at the bottom as well this is a shape so in this instance we'll be double clicking on the shape and that brings up our color palette again selecting that orange color that we want and then our first name we go to our character and you can see the character color is blue already so we know that's when we have to change to orange and now you've got one over to orange I'll show you without the blue guy on there so there it is all set to orange again changing the text just like before uh, highlighting the text changing it over to whatever number that you need to type there highlighting the text in all of the areas is the same feature all right so moving on in the tutorial video we're going to open up Ironside Ironside is probably one of the quickest ones to change colors on because there's only one color change that needs to happen and that is going to be on the light burst so if we want to change this over to blue there's blue if you want red there's red you want yellow back down to red purple change it to however color you want so let's do uh, let's do blue on this one again so we'll change that to blue and then on our name our number down here you can see that we have a base color of green so if we want to change this over to blue we can change that over and then it has an inner glow which is normally yellow so we'll change that to uh, white there you go and then our first name we'll change that over to blue as well a little light blue there there we go and that one is all done as well get rid of our player there's our template so we can save that out and use it for whatever team uh, colors that would go for all right, moving on from Ironside, the next one is Metal Stars. Again, Metal Stars is all in layers. If you wanted to use this template and you didn't want the stars on there, just turn them off. And now you have that look. So we'll bring those stars back up, and let's change the colors over to a different color here. Uh, so with the stars, we're going to change that gradient overlay, which again, clicking on gradient overlay, will pull up the gradient palette. To pull up this to change it, we simply click right there and now we can change the colors as you see it starts black goes to blue and then to white so let's switch this over to red there we go now right away it may not look the greatest um, because we have all the other colors going on still but uh, it will change once we get the rest so we'll go to the hue and saturation of the top shine double click on hue and saturation like we did before and now we can drag this over to a different color and let's click on colorize raise our saturation up a little bit there we go now that one's red and we have a bottom shine now here's a quick trick if you want the top to look just like the bottom because those are the same elements just one on the top and one at the bottom all we have to do is take and delete that layer property which was on the bottom we'll take our hue and saturation from down at the bottom which was for the top and we'll copy that and drag it above the bottom shine here now right now it's masked meaning that everything it's not masked so that means everything below it is being changed to mask it on this we simply hold down the alt key move our mouse between the two layers and you'll see the icon change and we'll just click and now it has put that same color scheme that we put on the top at the bottom okay and then we have these 
uh, right lines is what we call them and these are both color overlays so if we want to change these to red we'll click on that color overlay click on the color change that to red do the same thing on this one and if we l make it darker it sometimes makes it a little bit cooler so we'll do that and if you want to make both these sides the same on this situation you will right click and say copy layer style and on the right hand lines we'll right click and say paste layer style and now it made the same look alright then we got the bars down here at the bottom double clicking on that shape we change that over to red and then the only color change left we have is the last name which is blue right now and we'll change that over to red so and removing this image you can now see we have switched that over from blue to red very simple very quick uh, now we'll save this out uh, as a new template a red template for the stars and now anytime I have a red team I will just open my red template up and use that that way everything on that team is the same All right, so closing this one out we'll move over to my now this is one is hard to say it's metalectric it's the word metal and electric put together so if you want it to be just metal with no electric just turn off your lightning and now it's just metal if you want the lightning back you can turn those back on by just clicking on the eyes over on the layer and changing color on this works the same as the other ones we have our left bracket which is a shape we'll double click on that shape we can turn this one let's go green and white on this so we'll change that to green our right bracket change that to green again and then we have our right yellow bars we can now do a color overlay change that to white and we have our left yellow bar changing that over to white as well changing the jersey number to colors is as simple as changing the text color same as the last name let's turn that one green and our first name we can change to that white color that'll probably make it look good there you go that jersey number let's go back to green on that give it a little bit more pop up there all right now we switched that template over to green and white so you can see you can make that custom for each one of your teams all right moving on that was metalectric moving on to rivet rivets one of the most popular ones of this group um, again this one's very simple to color change uh, some of them are more simple than others uh, but this one has a simple color overlay on a burst changing that over let's do blue we have the vertical color bars which is a shape so we simply click on that change that to blue let's get rid of our player layer here so he doesn't make it look weird our last name is a just a simple text color so we'll switch that to blue we have our metal outline on the bottom which is a shape clicking on the shape turning that to blue and then we have our bottom bar at the bottom and this is the only one of the entire template collections that you actually will paint bucket so you can see the bottom bar uh, and the reason we don't have a color overlay is because we have these different textures that are masked to it and if you don't if you have a color change on this it actually will not let that texture come through so we'll just take our paint bucket there we go and we will do our blue color that we want and we'll just paint bucket down there and now we've changed it over to blue so very simple on rivet to change colors you can do a lot of different things with this template um, you can take the texture off in the middle there uh, you can take texture away from the bottom a lot of different little different things you can do subtly All right, so that is rivet well, let's move on to smash
All right, Smash has again other different. You can obviously see where the color changes are going to be on here. Um, so on this one we have the top swipe, and this one is a shape. So we'll double click on that. Actually, um, I apologize. This is like the previous template where these are actually going to be something you just color drop. So we'll just paint bucket the top swipe. We will select the bottom swipe, paint bucket that one, and you're done. That's it. First name obviously is a different color, so we can always change that over. There you go. Now it's just simply highlighting and changing the names. So that is Smash. Very quick. Very simple. Moving on to Spin. This is a very popular one. Uh, when this one came out, uh, we had a lot of good feedback on this one. Uh, have a lot of different textures and, and overlays on this one. Uh, you have this main texture in the background that if you want to turn off you can, but it gives it kind of that really big metal look. Uh, you also have the vertical lines that you can turn on and off. Um, the fire overlays. Different things like that. Alright, so to change this one, this one's pretty simple. We've got a color overlay in the back and let's switch this one over to green. So I'll go there. Let me turn off this player person here. All right, so we're going to switch this over to green. So we have hue and saturations on both of these fire layers. Now, if you didn't want the hue and saturation on them, you can turn them off, and now you have fire. But we had it colored on this one. All right, so let's just change this color up here. Find a nice green. There we go. Do the same thing on this one. And now at this point we have the first name obviously, which is going to be a another text color. Change that to green. And then the last color change on this template is going to be the metal bars at the bottom, which are a shape. Once again, changing that to green. And there you go. You change it over to green. And the final template in the metal series is street. This one probably has the most number of layers in it than all of the other templates uh, because each one of these pillars is actually a, uh, a layer. So we get down to those, you can see you can actually turn off different pillars if you didn't want certain pillars involved. But uh, each one of those is color changeable too. So we'll start down here at the bottom. We have a color overlay of red. We'll change this over to a blue template now. And I'm just going to get rid of our player layer just so I can see what I'm changing up. Okay, we find another color overlay here. Changing this one over to blue. Color overlay on this one. Changing it over to blue. And we just keep going up, watching for other color changings. So here we got another one. We'll change this one to blue. That one to blue. And let's see. We've got another color overlay here. That changed the color right there in that bar. last name change that over to blue the jersey number again over to blue then we've got some light flares and we'll just turn those colors off and now they're blue and then we have the background burst, which is way down here at the bottom that we accidentally skipped over, which is given those red bursts there. So we'll just double click on our human saturation here and we'll slide this until we find our blue color. Last thing we have is this hue and saturation for the light flare. Changing that over to blue. 
And there you have it. That is the street template set to blue. So again, this is a real quick short tutorial of all 10 templates that are located on the Metal Edition Game Day Banners Volume 4. You can find it on our website, www.spotlightphotographics.com, or inside of our store, which is the Photo Solutions Market. Thanks again for stopping by, and we look forward to seeing you again at our next video tutorial.